Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Black Myth Wukong. In this episode here, um, before I go and do some more stuff in Chapter 4, I want to go ahead and and just uh, <clears throat> type a few, a few loose ends of things that I I found out that I missed. Just take care of it. Oh, okay. Alright, cool. Well, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to challenge the boy. The eye may prove foul. To handle. Edge sharpened. Arm restless. I was looking for someone to test it. Mark me. This blade is cast from the best metal. Don't blame me if you hurt yourself. He's never old back. You're far below him. Train well before returning here. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes. Oh my god, that's not fair! That's not fair! Oh, my God. 
time to heal. You don't get a chance. Gosh, that is bull crap right there, man. Your chest to
Oh my gosh! <laughs> You don't get no chance to, to do anything. Crap, man. That really is. Yeah. 
this. I just gotta get that timing with that. Some bull crap, man. I don't know how I got caught in that. Down with my 
Oh, come on. Come on. I, that's, that's the most BS move in the history of, of all games. You don't have no time. That is.
Got him. Woo. That was tough. He's unfit for my skill. It's yours now. I'll just forge another. Gosh, that dude was tough. The black woman's glass. This would be really bad. That's the one for you. You want off income blows by holding school. That's right, dude. Huh. Oh, gosh. Lord have mercy. That was a uh, Elden Ring DLC type fight. <laughs> it was enraging. I mean, it didn't take me no whole few hours to beat it, but still, that was that was crazy. Mm, I've spent my whole life in service. Now I deserve to find some peace. No harvest without hard work. Perhaps it's for the best. Uh, go ahead. I can't spend all day chatting when there's work to be done. Ah, Mr. You don't look like a Yagwai from these parts. Uh, have you come to earn the Black Wind King's favor? Uh, hear me. That bear is but a hollow shell. He can grant you nothing. Don't waste your time on him. He lies about cheating death and even the treasures. His followers are, all of them, deceived. Blackwing Kawai is a sly one. He preaches virtue with a heart full of greed. Oh, I wouldn't entrust him with my plea. I don't know why you are here. But you should be vigilant. Now I'm pressed for time. Fare thee well, then. That it? I don't know why you are here, but you should be vigilant. Now I'm pressed for time. Fare thee well, then. All right. Those guys won't know where this.
expect I request an audience with your kin? Uh, what brought you here? <laughs> Fate binds us, sir. From the Blackwind Mountain to here, we meet again. Those rats. They tied me up on sight for no reason. Joking, they prepare me for their king's table. Uh, this place crawls with Yaogwai's eager for a bite. But don't worry. If they bite into me, they'll bite more than they can chew. This place is a jumble of rats and cats, all at each other's throats. And the Yellow Wind Sage keeps silent. How odd. Who would swear fealty to such a king? Let's make haste and go. Never linger at a peril such as this. Just leave. These rats are no match for me. And I can make my own way out. You are a skinny one. But these rats aren't picky eaters. Flee. The quicker the better. I won't die here with my task undone. There are too many eyes around here. We'll meet again if fate wills it. This place is a jumble of rats and cats, all at each other's throats. And the Yellow Wind Sage keeps silent. How odd. Who would swear fealty to such a king? Let's make haste and go. Just leave. These rats are no match for me, and I can make my own way out. beating other things so it's not very nice to me. Oh, that's not very nice is it? But this love he wasn't hard at all. I don't like them on him. 
but I'm gonna take them out just because. Yeah, he is the problem. Offered me nothing. Yellow Brow, the Buddha, was my next plea. Only after meeting his grace in the New West did I see. I wasted my life for others and missed much joy. No more journey now. My king is suffering, yes. But does one not weave the threads of one's destiny? Peace is. Living for yourself. His grace speaks true. Indulge, and you shall be carefree. This joy, it's new to me, like never before. <sighs> My king once sought wisdom in such a Dharma place. His son, too, was a disciple of a bodhisattva. Now I, too, walk on this path. I hope I'm following in my king's steps. Say, my friend, why don't you stay here and tread this path with me? My king once sought wisdom in such a Dharma place. His son, too, was a disciple of a Bodhisattva. Now I, too, walk on this. So, okay. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I think I'm going to call it quits of this episode because um, that's pretty much what I was trying to do. Square up all that stuff there. So let's see here what this is for our girl. Medicine mask too much. We're going through the first set of countries before Africa. I'm gonna get high. Oh, oh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it for this episode. I'll see you in the next one.